AOC and, uh, and her fellow Democrats are constantly complaining that we don't want them to be able to speak. This is so confusing. Has anybody on the right tried to silence AOC or Ilhan Omar? Like really tried to silence them? Not that I'm aware of. In fact, every time they say something, we sort of trumpet it because what they say is so in unerringly silly. So AOC, though, claims that the opposition is afraid when she speaks. If that were the case, she would not be a very famous person right now. That lack of fear of fellowship is exactly what the opposition does fear. That and any time Rashida or Ilhan speak, they're scared too, <laughs> myself included. Uh, and, it, you know, it is great that they got more than they bargained for. Well, yeah, that, that's exactly what happened. We're so scared when AOC speaks. I'm particularly scared when she starts talking about vegetables. Here's AOC yesterday. She must be silenced. We must silence her. This is deeply frightening stuff. Here's AOC explaining why cauliflower is a colonialist vegetable. I'm not kidding. It's a thing, she said, as a human. When someone says that it's too hard to do a green space that grows yucca instead of, I don't know, cauliflower or something, um, it, you're, what you're doing is that you're taking a colonial approach environmentalism. If I went to a predominantly white community and said, okay, you guys are going to be growing plantains and yucca and all these things that you don't know how to cook, it's, and that your palate isn't accustomed to, it's going to be like cute for a little bit, but it's not easy. Um, yeah, I'm scared. I, I, we need to silence her because she's talking about plantains. Well, what, I'm confused. So, so apparently there's a group of, are there really a group of environmentalists who go around telling Latinos that they should not be, they should not be planting yucca? Is this a thing that I'm not aware of? <laughs> apparently this is a thing that happens like down in the Bronx. This is a thing. People just walk around door to door and they're like, are you planting yucca in that, in that window garden sill? Is that, is that what you're doing right there? Is that yucca? Cauliflower, kale, do it. Also, um, cauliflower is delicious and yucca tastes bad. Um, now, I mean, I, okay, maybe that's just my, my different cultural sensibility speaking to me here. But I also, I don't care if you grow yucca. Who, again, who are these people? <laughs> Colonialist vegetables. Man, I'm, I, I'm going to say that, that these are first world problems. That would be a first world problem right there. Is what, somebody came today, they came to my door and they told me, you stop growing that sweet potato. You stop growing that yam. It's time for you to grow some asparagus. And I was like, whoa, slow your roll there. Slow your roll. That is some cultural appropriation right there. My garden is my own. And if I choose to grow indigenous crops to the United States, well, then that's my business. You white people and you tell you white people in your flips card, cauliflower. <laughs> All righty, lady. Okay, sure. Yeah, we're, we're, we're deeply frightened. Mm -hmm. Okay.